the Navy gave a first look inside the stealthy and futuristic Zumwalt destroyer on Friday during the ship's first port stop at a Rhode Island naval station. The 610-foot-long warship has an angular shape to minimize its radar signature and cost more than $4.4 billion. It's the most expensive destroyer built for the Navy. It's headed from Naval Station Newport to Baltimore, where it will be commissioned in October before going to its homeport in San Diego. It was built at Bath Iron Works in May. The 1000 United, uh, United States ship Zumwalt is unique in a couple of, a couple of ways. You know, first, it, it is higher technology. A lot of advanced technology on the ship that's found in many of our ship systems. Our network's very complex. It's a highly automated vessel. So this vessel is about one and a half times the size of our previous class of vessel, but it's operated by about half the crew. The way that's done is with a lot of automation with a very sophisticated network. In addition, it's a stealth destroyer. So this ship is designed to be hard to detect, both uh, from a radar cross-section perspective, from uh, acoustics, the sound that goes in the water, and that provides this ship uh, a, an advantage out there, uh, potentially during combat operations, to be a much harder vessel to detect, to track, and potentially attack. It's also a very survivable vessel, and we have a lot of automated systems on the ship to combat fires, flooding, and other damage to the ship. The other thing that makes it very unique is its integrated power system. We produce 78 megawatts of power and that 78 megawatts of power then can be used for our propulsion, all of our weapons and sensors on the ship and have power to spare uh, for potentially opportunity for the weapons and sensors of the future. We have the equipment and the training and the procedures in place to ensure safety at sea. So, so we certainly uh, attend to the fact that we want to make sure that we are not uh, with, that we are visible to other, other ships that are out there sailing. So we have the equipment, the training, and the procedures in place to make sure safety at sea. There's three things it takes to be a sailor on Zomold, and it's a high level of technical expertise, great teamwork, happily sharing the burdens with one another, big ship, lots of new equipment and technology. We have to happily share the burdens with one another or we won't get the job done. And then toughness. It has taken a great deal of mental, physical toughness you know, to get through what we've had to get through over the last three years and to get this ship ready to go. I had the opportunity to uh, observe my sailors uh, operating the ship, driving the ship, uh, operating the bridge control console, and it was really marvelous how quickly after a year plus for many of these folks uh, standing a pre-commissioning unit duty in a building, how quickly they snapped into a, uh, a seagoing mode of operations you know, how quickly old habits came back and really how well this ship handled and performed out there in the Gulf of Maine. It was an awesome experience. I think it was a great taste for all of us of what's to come. And we're looking very, for, very much forward to doing it. During the tour, the, the Navy showed off the ship's bridge, weaponry and mission center. In the bridge, there are 180 degree windows and chairs for the ship's captain and executive officer to command the vessel. They overlook two gun mounts that resemble cannon barrels. The Zumwalt's powerful new gun system can unload 600 rocket-powered projectiles on targets more than 70 miles away. In the mission center, about two dozen people can sit at consoles with multiple computer screens to plan missions, ranging from land attack and air defense to anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare and support for special operations forces. There's a large flight deck and two small boats on board in a bay that special operation forces can use. It looks like a much smaller vessel on radar and it's quieter than other ships, which makes it hard to detect, track and attack. Vice Admiral Tom Roden mans, trains and equips the surface ships of the Pacific Fleet, which will include the Zumwalt. He said Friday the Zumwalt will make a significant difference. Its advanced technology and capabilities allow it to do a range of defensive and offensive missions, and project power, wherever it is needed, and that's generating tremendous excitement within the Navy, Roden said. He said the Zumwalt will be a very stabilizing site for allies and partners, and perhaps a menacing site for potential enemies.